video of Total War Warhammer and today we're going to be playing another modded match. Today we're going to be playing two with two mods, Glory Mod Britonia and Glory Mod Vampire Counts. Vampire Counts has come along with a very powerful team, well, it's more of a hard team they've come with. Eight, about six, eight units of Graveguard, probably a bit more, and the rest decayed ones, while well, we have a more strategic typed. Three Armoured Halberdiers, six Zeliots, six Champions of Britonia, the ladies chosen four units, eleven units of Fae Longbows, because that's one of their main tactics. One second. Two units of Field Trebuchets, two Grail Knights, some of these cool looking snow type dogs. We have a two units of these demi Hippogriff Knights, they're called. Oh, here we go, he's a beautiful shot going to be coming off. Oh, one missed, that isn't looking too good. Oh, there's a bunch that's going to hit this unit right here now. One successful shot. Wow, that killed about... That killed... Jesus, that killed 17 men. That killed 13 men. That killed 14 men. That was brutal. They just evaporated, more or less. Some cops is still lying down on the floor. Look at how beautiful them dogs look. They're like red on the underbelly. Very majestic looking. Zeliots looking cool, like companions. Oh yeah, we have two units of the Temple Guards. Very weird looking. We have the Armoured Halberdiers. Six units of these Champion of Bretonias. Four units of lady, these ladies chosen. Look how brutal this was. Absolutely wrecked us all, all in all. As you can see, it killed our front line, more or less. As you can see, let me just speed up to show you how brutal it was. Just ripped right through. Went through two to three units. There you go, these are the archers. They're amazing. Gives off this like sparkling glow, but it also does splash damage when it misses. As you can see, the bodies just exploding. One's heads come off there. As you can see, you can't even see what's going on in this unit right now. Absolutely brutal. As you can see, there was a full unit here a second ago. Not so much anymore. Still coming in with the volleys. Oh my god, that is still ripping through our line. That isn't looking too good at all. Oh, there you go, it's ended. This is just ripping through our defences right now. As you can see, their leader is coming up for the fight at the start because they know if we don't, if they don't take my front line down, this is going to be a win for me because of my archers. So they're sending Manfred von Kastein straight up into this unit before it even gets the little lines more or less gone. Yeah. As you can see, most look at the dead. So it started off here roughly. Yeah. About here where the blood started. This is where they came into contact towards the, the bowman. It's just death. Over death. Over death. I've left my lead over here in this valley bit area. This would be a cool holding off place to fall back to. King Lewinka. He's very fancy looking. Still never actually look at this guy because he's kind of. The Bretonia um, faction in this game and the law is kind of just neglected by the maker. There's actually nothing to them. They're one of the weakest factions. They're really unfair to play as. See, these men are looking very fancy right here. Yeah, again, with the like spears without ends. Oh, never mind, they do. It's like a harpoon looking type weapon. See what I mean? I was losing this flank because of my archers, but I was getting at least triple the amount of kills. The leader by the by these archers completely wrecked. You can't even see him. You won't see him for a while. There he is. He <laughs> did. These archers, look at that straight line. Look how accurate they are. 
Problem is also when you've got your own units in the way, it's not a good combo. As you can see on this left flank we also had some more units firing down. Plenty of them are dead. It's just a pit of them in the middle right here. Some most some of them are mine. Probably more of those though. As you can see here, we've won this left flank, more or less. We've lost we've, one of our units ran, but in that one unit, they've lost at least three to four units. As you can see, I've never actually showed these guys off just yet. Where are they? Right here. But this is what they did on their own. With, well, besides them fantastic archers. There you go. That's, the, I, that's just what I was waiting for, but I missed that. But I sent my Grail Knights in for a little charge for the end victory dance. Sort of. Because <laughs> it, it basically, is, as soon as they get broken and their flanks get discovered and they get damage sustained, they'll just start to flee. And as you can see, this is the fact now where they all just start dropping like flies. Swords flying, everything. Everything just goes wrong at this point for the vampire counts. Front line, one. Right, while well, I'm waiting for that, look at the bodies. All the way from here, all the way down here. It's just brutal. And the bodies still slowly falling down. <laughs> that, my friends, would be a battle. I'll show you the, the count now of the deaths and kills. So we lost 428. They lost every single man. 3,511. 3, Best unit there, definitely the archers. Every single unit got over 100 kills and that even got over 250. This unit got... Well, what are the main ones that I was using later on? Not the Grail Knights. There's two units. Huh. Here they are. Temple Guards. Yeah, they did so well f defending off. Anyway, guys, that would be another video. If you like, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. And obviously leave a like. <laughs> See you later. That was delayed.